It's also going to be very hard to be selling a DVD at $12 if your postage is $8 and you've had to pick up the DVD for a couple of bucks. What's going on folks? Welcome back to the channel. Chris Ferlong here and we are all about reselling, running, lifestyle and everything in between. Now today, after a much requested video of how do I ship my DVDs? Well, I'm going to take you through how I do that. And it's not just for DVDs, it's also for video games, CDs as well. So uh, yeah, let's get straight into it. So one of the big questions, and I've asked this question myself, is how do, how do you send DVDs or small you know, media items cheap? And the challenge has always been is, is it secure? And how can I track it but keep it very cheap? Because the average DVD price these days that you're selling on eBay is between that you know $10 to $20, sometimes if not less. The key thing here is to maximize you being able to get the most profit when sending it. Is it secure? Is it safe? Is it gonna get broken? Now you can use a normal package you know, such as a small box or something, which is going to be around that 915 mark, cheaper if you are using the Australian Post Business Plan. Um, and that will give you that comfort knowing that it is secure, safe, and it's not necessarily going to get broken. But also going to be very hard to be selling a DVD at $12 if your postage is $8 and you've had to pick up the DVD for a couple of bucks. So that's what I decided not to do. You can then do option number two, which is send it untracked, which is in a bubble mailer. And the problem with that is you use stamps, but it's not tracked. So look, majority of the time, that's probably actually going to be fine. And the person's going to be okay and give you the feedback and it's going to be protected. But you know, there is that chance where they say, I never received the item and there's no proof that they did. So to solve that is you meet in the middle. What I do is I use something called the medium domestic letter with tracking. Now these are small little letters. Uh, that you can buy over the counter. Um, link in the description below as well. You can purchase them on eBay. Now, these are around $4.90, uh, maybe even $5 if you're buying them individual. The idea is if you purchase them in quantity, you will end up saving. So they're about $4.90 per item, but if you buy them in bulk, you can end up getting them down to $4.50 or $4.40. Uh, so the difference here is that you need to make sure you get the medium size. You can literally just pick up the DVD, you know that I've got here and right so you got this right here uh, there's a little flick and basically you can just put it straight in like that and flick that over you've got to pull your lodgement on the side here and then uh, yeah you're basically good to go you can put I mean who's it to and you put who's it from on the back and just put it in like that now what I sometimes would do is I'll put a bit of wrapping paper around the DVD just to give it a bit of extra love. The challenge has been it's not bubble wrapped and is it going to get damaged? Well, if the DVD is less than 20 bucks, 25 bucks even, it, it's probably not really a big deal because if it does arrive broken, you can give a refund and all that jazz. But I haven't had a problem yet, yet. And I know a few other people doing this as well. I do this with video games and CDs as well. You just need to make sure that it's not heavier than the letter requirement 500 grams so do check that before sending because some of these bulkier season dvds can weigh that bit extra now one thing you need to note is if you are sending these these won't be registering on your my business post because obviously if you're doing it online with your dymo printer you're not putting a label on this you know it's already got the tracking details on it you need to make sure you can get that scanned when you're doing that at the australia post or if you aren't using these and you're just using a box or a satchel or something else you need to make sure that you are leveraging the australia post discounts because something that used to be 915 you could potentially get that down to below seven dollars depending on what banding you are what i actually do is i don't leverage the australia post business deal for this because unless i've got quantity and i'm you know going into the post office to scan you know usually i'm just dropping it off and then doing it all there but you can use the app on your on your phone open up the app and they can scan it as they put that through the process and that becomes part of the process personally i haven't done that but i don't see why it wouldn't work let me know how you do this let me know your thoughts there's a few different ways people can do this i know people that just send this just wrapping it in paper um, and just stamp it so makes me a little nervous but a lot of the time it's you know they are cheap items so the games maybe a bit more you want to put a bit more love and depending on the type of cd if it is you know a rare cd which could be higher in dollar value well you probably don't want to use this and the same for dvds and games right if something is of a higher value probably reconsider what postage option you're using just because 
think about it if you're a buyer and you're purchasing something how would you want to receive it yeah so let me know in the comments below what you thought of this if you have a different way of doing this and uh yeah really appreciate you being here make sure you like subscribe comment do the whole shebang and hustle ciao